All this month, get up to $50 off any Android smartphone from Appalachian Wireless. Any Android you desire. All $50 off with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Two longtime Pike County judges have recently announced their plans for retirement, which means their positions will soon be vacant. District Judges Daryl Mullins and Kelsey Friend Jr. will retire and a few are already vying for their seats. Robert F. Wright has been an attorney for 22 years. He announced his run for Division I District Judge this year. He says his experience will help him if he is elected. The volume of cases that go through Pike District Court and Pike Circuit Court and Pike Family Court is enormous. It is a job that requires the ability to handle a large volume of cases and to give each case its due. I have been doing that since the day one of my practice. I have basically been training myself without really knowing it. Pikeville attorney Tommy May, a 10-year veteran of judicial law, announced his run for District Judge Division II. He says his experience and honesty will hopefully bring him to the top. My friends and my family know that I try to help people, and I hope that the county will allow me to uh, even expand you know, helping people. That's, that's a position where you can really help people. It's an important position. Assistant Pike County Attorney Kyle Deskins filed to run for Division II District Judge last week. However, he announced his candidacy earlier this year. He has been an attorney for 16 years. In a courtroom, I've done it all. I've been a defense attorney, a guardian ad litem representing children, and now a prosecutor. I bring to the bench a comprehensive set of skills, and I think that I can do a wonderful job for the people of this county and I think that I can bring fair and equal justice to everyone. Both Mullins and Friend will finish their terms and the newly elected judges will take office in 2019. In Pikeville, Shelby Still, EKB News.